Well, not, not the way it's usually done. A little more Latin. A little more Latin? <laughs> oh, oh, it is Latin hey. jazz Meyer after oh, all. We forgot the joke. Okay. Did we? Did you? Oh, you got it. You got it.
actually watching Disney Plus right now, in which case, like, come on, take a break from Disney Plus. How many minutes, like, must have watched a couple movies by now. You know, every time somebody asks me what my favorite movie is from Disney, I say Steamboat Willie. I think it's the best. I don't know what Steamboat Willie is. You've never seen it? How about Brave Little Toaster fans out there? It's from 1920s, and it's only about seven minutes long, but it's great. Okay, well, you know, it's probably a good seven minutes to to invest, so uh, maybe when we're done here, uh, we'll uh, go home and watch Steamboat Willie. Cool, so our next tune here is kind of like an older swing tune. and, and we're not, again, playing it in its usual way. This is, uh, we're going to call this, we're going to call it Comes Funk. Down or off? Oh, it is, is it funk? Or did we say, is it a samba? Whatever oh, you want to call it. Oh, we'll play it funky. We're going to play it funky? Okay, Comes Funk. Oh, is it me? Okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's let the drum count to me. soloist multiple times oh, you should definitely anyone watching here when you're done this you should definitely go watch Jaden's triangle instructional you video you will, sure. you will you will you <laughs> will uh, it, it's great it's, it's I, very it's, educational it's very no educational jokes it's no serious. jokes no humor um, <laughs> Hundred percent. Hundred percent serious. We are very, we're very sort of like how serious this next tune is. It's oh, a it's, it's, it's an old it's Russian folk song. Old Russian folk song. Uh, very well very known. Serious. You know it, but you don't know it. Kind of tune. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. All right. Um, everybody at home, when you know it, you can yell it out. Call up your friends, text your neighbors. <laughs> turn on your uh, well. Yeah. Uh, turn on your old Nintendo <laughs> entertainment <laughs> system. Okay. Because it you'll yeah. Uh, hey, we good. It was on a lot of things. I played like one by a doctor personally, but I played it on an Apple II Plus. Wow, aren't you? Okay, okay. What 
different era. Yeah, from, a, from a different era. Oh, yeah. different era. Oh, you know what's one. so appropriate about that tune is the fact that percussionists play Tetris for a living. We actually played Tetris oh, yeah. uh, oh, three times in order to get over here, and we're going to have to play Tetris three times in order to get back. Yeah. back yeah. Car. How much stuff <laughs> do you fit in your vehicle? Okay. This comes in handy when I need to organize like my spice rack and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. big time. It's you know spices. you're a lame adult when you get excited <laughs> by spice rack. Oh, hey, we haven't introduced our band. Uh, so over there, killing it on the blue vibraphone is Jaden Bonoy. And then, Ta -da! oh yeah, yeah. And then uh, over to his side there, uh, uh, also with a beautiful blue shirt, is Mr. Rob Masiak. Killing it on the bongos and the congas and the congas. No. <laughs> the, the bongos and the congas, right, right. Okay. And the bongos and the congos. The bongos and the congos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actual, and then in, in the, middle. the middle, yeah, rocking it on the drum set. We've got Dale Osbaldeston. Woo! Oh, yeah, rocking so it with the brushes. Very quiet brushes. brushes. Okay, that was very, very sort square. of like anticlimactic. I don't know, like, like. Oh man, you rock out of Texas to play the brushes? Okay. On the other side okay. of the stage from me, on the big wooden xylophone, giant grand piano of xylophones, the marimba, Mr. Steven Stone. Howdy. Oh, some applause. Okay, applause for all of you. Applause okay. for everybody. Applause for the audience for being here, joining us on this beautiful day. Um, we like today's. I don't have a good yeah. segue into the next one. We don't have a good segue. Well, well, I like today. I'm probably going to like tomorrow. And I probably also like. Yes, there's...
You know, one thing you may be, you may be inside a whole bunch lately, folks. This is a great time to work on your cooking skills. Like the best meal prep every day. Hey, uh, anyone watching? If you like, send me your favorite recipes, like especially like your favorite vegan Steve recipes. Steve needs to learn how to cook. I, I need to. I do need to learn how to cook a bit more. You know, I've just been spending all my time like moving a marimba and. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now speaking of moving around, actually, oh, yeah. we played a song earlier about a train and this next song is about a different type of transportation a, media. A different type of transportation. Yeah, actually, this is actually um, an old Korean folk song. Yeah, this is this is a, a folk song from South Korea. Uh, from Originally it's called the uh, Gyeongsang province and now it's more associated with the Gyeonggi-do province. Uh, I made a little Facebook video kind of explaining it a little bit, uh, but I actually, uh, I had the great pleasure of living in South Korea for a while. I, uh, I taught English there and then I went back and I lived in Sky's drum and dance studio. And uh, so Korea has a special place in my heart. Uh, and this is an arrangement, our adaptation, my, I, I arranged it, we changed it. Uh, this is uh, called the Boat Song or the Bet Note.
yesterday. What else did we do yesterday? We had the one and only rehearsal that we had. We had some fun sure. rehearsal. That is true. Yeah, that was that was a, that was that was a good, good rehearsal. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we made some progress. We played. We did. We did do. We practiced most of the tunes, I think. Yeah. We got through. A good we, we got through most. Well, maybe 60, 70 percent. Well. By, if by most you mean 51%, then 51%. I... 51%. Oh, did you do the math? <laughs> that is the most. Professor <laughs> Masiak. <laughs> PhD. PhD. Do you have a PhD? No, he doesn't have a PhD. No, he just, he just acts like his... Well. You should, have a you should see his water phone. Let's not talk about that on air. I don't know if that's all that's appropriate. <laughs> okay. Personal flotation device. How, how rude just, of me to assume. We were just on the boat. We just did the okay, boat. Okay, well, gee whiz. Okay. Let's continue with the boat. Okay, so I think we we're can talk about Brazil the now, right? theme Brazil? and the theme of the Brazil. There's yeah, a, Brazil. There's a girl, this. and she's from a place. It's called Ipanema. And Steve does this really cute thing. Where is Ipanema? Brazil. 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 It's in Brazil. Of course. Okay. But anyway, there's somebody yeah. online being like, course. let yeah. me tell you where Ipanema is. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, because, like, really yeah, the tune. Okay. Uh, yeah, this, uh, okay, let's just do it. <laughs>
chest chord. Chest chord, chest chord. Sometimes light seems dark, but then you just need to go and cross over to the other side. The other side yeah, of the. <laughs> well, we're trying to make like a. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's no, like no. the dark and light like, side. There's probably course. like one person. I don't know. I don't know how many jazz people are listening. I don't know. So someone's going to post it. One, two, uh, one, two, uh, one, two. So we do this thing sometimes where like when we're playing the last head, for those of you watching who don't normally see us do this when we're we commonly play on the side of the street at farmers markets busking and street performing and that sort of thing. And sometimes we'll just try to psych each other out by like halting the tune at this like oh spot. Yeah. We're yeah. just intentionally trying and to. It's, it's good. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, really yeah. nice when you have people you can do that with. So this is a song about food. 
Now, we all, we all like yeah, cooking. Not a large um, amount of food. Yeah, not a large, no, it's a very small amount of food. Actually, this is a song that Jaden Baudoy wrote about That's food. Now, now, it's not it's about food. curry. And you know, no. it's kind of strange that Jaden, you know, would write about this, because Jaden is totally vegetarian. It's true, I've been a vegetarian. Yeah. yeah. Thank this, you. This, the song title, it doesn't really match what Jaden needs. So, uh, now. It's got a ring to it, though. Yeah, it's got I a good feel ring. like. Oh, and by the way, anybody who didn't know that last tune, it was on the sunny side of the street. Yeah. Put that mystery behind us. Uh, the next so, mystery is this tune. Uh, I, I one think of my just, club hits, as I like to call it. <laughs> club hits. Yeah. Self, this is a uh, diagnosed club anthem 2019. Yeah, yeah. Jaden's tunes are about to be played in every dance club. Uh, so this yeah. was a bit of a disco. And I think we have to say the name because there's no way they can guess it. Yeah, so, no. so the name of this tune, Jaden wrote this tune. He likes to call this small rotisserie chicken.
next song uh, is, is a bit of a, well, we've turned it into a rock lullaby. Um, but a rockaby, rock sure. But actually, uh, I, I think some of the people who are probably watching probably know what this tune is. You know, not a lot of people will. Um, but uh, one of these uh, projects that we're doing, uh, that we're really excited about, uh, we're almost done uh, an album where what we have done is we've taken folk music from 15 different nations around the world and we blended them with pop, rock, and jazz. Uh, and I thought it would be such a shame uh, you know, to, to you know, celebrate these things from other parts of the world and not celebrate things in our own backyard. Uh, so this, this tune uh, is, uh, well, I, I have permission to use this, uh, and this tune uh, was kind of, it was, it's a composed tune. It's not originally uh, one thing, but it, it comes from uh, Nakoda traditional chant. Uh, so the Elk Island Public School Board, uh, a committee of teachers, uh, got together and worked with uh, an elder, uh, and they, they composed uh, a melody uh, based on these chants. So this is a composed melody uh, based on Nakoda chant, and this is called A Place Like This. So this is inspired from uh, the First Nations in our own neighborhood.
just like makes me smile when we get to that major chord in the middle. Oh, yeah. it's like yeah, it's just so getting a big really hug. Well so, I love uh, it. To any of the Anybody's teachers at Elk Island, uh, <laughs> listen, good, good, good job in that composition. Smile. That's a beautiful collaboration with our well, well-known Elk. Um, speaking of love and all of that, oh, uh, yeah, our next tune, it's not really that time of year, uh, talking about Valentine's Day, talking about jokes on Funny Valentine's Day. Oh. This tune, um, My Funny, Funny Valentine, Valentine, actually is about jokes on Valentine's No, I'm just kidding. It's not about jokes on Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm not, uh, well, that, that's an okay segue. <laughs> that's a terrible segue. <laughs> Uh, yeah, humor. Yes, we're we're trying. We're trying. We're there. trying. Okay. Let's play music. Let's we should just play music. Okay, let's, let's play the music. Stone to music. Okay, one, two, here we go.
Next so, the next song is not sad at all. Yeah, this is the sing along. Uh, you know, I've never sung along with people over the internet before. Can, can, actually, can you <laughs> if you're going to sing along yeah. you can, and you have a phone, can you record yourself singing along? Oh, send it to us that would and be we great. could make a huge mashup sing along yeah. music video. You're all yeah. a part of it. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, yeah, so this is another love song, actually. Uh, another love song. Uh, it's actually uh, from the, the Roma people. Uh, so this is called Sumale. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a fun song. And, and there's, there's one word, well, we, we uh, have trouble singing in other languages, but there is, a, there is one word you can sing along with us. So that word is la. No, no, you are not, no. No, not that, not that. No, okay. So, uh, yeah, no so jokes. partway through, we're gonna sing lie. There's a melody, you can catch it. Uh, and if you feel like clapping, there's a little clapping part too. Okay, uh, we're good to go? Don't forget to record yourself, everybody. Yeah. All right, Steve, take it away. for being with us here. Uh, we are Sticks and Stone Percussion. Uh, Huge thank you to Starlight Sessions. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for Starlight Sessions, who stepped in at the very, very, very last minute to help us out. We were actually uh, we scheduled to do this show at an organization called the Polaris Center for the Performing Arts, but they did decide at the 11th hour to close their facility, which is completely understandable. They had been doing free live stream shows every single night and sometimes even additional ones during the day. But they had to close their facility and this place came through for us at the very last minute. Oh, yeah, it they is would Wednesday. normally charge handsomely for the beautiful job that they're doing of engineering the audio and video for us. 
but they've decided to do it for us on a pro bono basis. So the donation page, which I believe is located at starlightsessions.com slash donate, um, will, if, uh, in the event that you feel that you'd like to donate, um, that, that money would go to subsidize the venue and the, um, the awesome technicians and stage management who are looking after us, as well as us. So thank you very much, Starlight. Thank you, thank you so much for stepping in at the last minute. Uh, so it is Wednesday night. Uh, we started trading messages with the Starlight uh, on Monday night. Yeah. Yeah. So they really pulled through for us at the last minute. Uh, they've been closed since March 13th. So no one else can come in here. It's just us in this empty place, and we're, we're so two thankful. two or three other people in the back of the room. Yeah. There's lights, there's sound. Yeah, yeah. we're so thankful. Woo! Thank, yeah, amazing lights, amazing sound. We're so thankful that uh, we were able to collaborate and make this happen. Thank you so much, Starlight Sessions. All right. We're going to come back at in about quarter after. Five. About ten minutes. Ten minutes, five minutes. About ten minutes. We'll ten say minutes. quarter after. Okay, it's nice. You've got ten minutes to get your food, get your drink, we've got our get half. everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get, get your but food, get your But if you do want board. to hang out in the meantime, we will be here. We have a couple are, things are we can bantering? chat with you. Okay, so it's your turn to banter while well, uh, I grab something. I can banter a little bit unless somebody else wants to. Have a little snack. These guys are going to have a little snack. They've been working really hard. Yeah, this is actually a really great pleasure to be here. One of the tough things about these instruments, and as you can see, they're quite large. Drum sets take up a lot of space. The marimba on the stage left is huge. It's about nine feet long. So it was really awesome that the Starlight could accommodate us because a few other ideas that we had in mind just didn't, uh, didn't pan out or weren't big enough to maintain some of the space requirements and things we needed. So that's really, really awesome. Um, we want to thank everybody who's here as well. Thanks for listening. Um, unfortunately, we can't see your comments and what you're typing, but uh, we do want you to send us some messages. You can message either Sticks and Stone. You can find all of us. We have Facebook profiles and different social media platforms. If you type in our name on Google and that sort of thing, you can see some of the other things that, uh, that we're a part of. Um, all of us are involved in different projects. Steve actually is a... Uh, substitute teacher goes to a lot of elementary schools around the Edmonton area uh, Dale freelance musician plays all over Edmonton does a lot of musical theater teaches private drum lessons as well very successful with that um, we actually recorded our album in Dale's house out in our draws and he's got a beautiful log cabin place so stay tuned for that album to be coming out should be out maybe end of April beginning of May somewhere around there then we have Rob Masiak, very talented percussionist from Calgary, who has made the journey up to Edmonton, playing a lot of the auxiliary percussion stuff, probably playing more instruments than all of us combined. He's got a suspended cymbal, congas, bongos, a guiro, shaker, a triangle, claves, a doombeck, which is a Middle Eastern uh, goblet or hour, hourglass shaped drum, excuse me and uh, glockenspiel as well so he's quite busy back there and he's doing a lot of oh i forgot he's got a tambourine and a frame drum too so very busy back there and you'll often hear him uh, and see him doing two things at once to really help fill up the sound so we're very stoked that he is coming to play with us as well um, and my name Jaden bodwin i also play in the edmonton area uh, play in the royal canadian artillery band i'm a street performer with my tiny portable drum set that I bike around on a little wagon, um, play outside of a lot of hockey games and that sort of thing. Um, in additional, uh, excuse me, in additionally, eh, I swear I know how to talk. <laughs> in addition to playing with the C Jam Big Band, which is a, a dance band. Um, so that's a lot of fun as well. Good to keep people moving and keep the spirits up. Um, I think I've talked quite a bit, so maybe we'll get somebody else up on stage here. Um, Nobody else wants to get up. I can riff on this microphone all day long, but I was hoping to get up. Right? What's that? 60 seconds, 60 seconds, we're going to time them. Then Steve's going to come join us. Steve is going to talk a little bit more about the Sticks and Stone Marimba Band, talk a little bit about our upcoming album release and some of the background behind that. You heard us talk a little bit about it with some of the tunes and the backgrounds of... Um, some tunes like Catcher Pio will be on it, which is the one we started the, the set with, uh, as well as a place like this, 
Um, those two tunes will be on the album, and there's a few more in the second set that will also be on that album. And it's been really fun collaborating with musicians and people from around the world to bring this together. It's, um, I think especially in the time we're in now and the world conditions we're in, it's a great opportunity to help bring everybody together um, and create some good vibes uh, across borders and through music, which is such a universal language and something that I think speaks to all of us. So if Steve is ready, oh, Steve is almost ready. Uh, he can talk a little bit about that project and maybe some of the highlights of um, creating that album and some of the uh, arduous processes involved in listening for hundreds and hundreds of hours to oh, multiple so takes of music. Oh, this album okay. has been a sacrifice uh, and it's really Steve. been uh, killing me, but I, I think we're going to have something really beautiful and really joyful uh, and uh, a beautiful way of, of celebrating uh, a lot of people's and uh, their cultures and their beautiful musics from many parts of the world. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we, we've been playing some of these songs right now and we anticipate this album should probably be done in the summer. We should be able to release it uh, this summer. Uh, so maybe, maybe I'll talk a little bit about this group. Uh, so uh, I started learning this instrument here, the, the marimba, uh, I affectionately call it the Grand Piano of Xylophones. Uh, I started really learning it when uh, I uh, did a music degree at the University of Alberta. And I, I increasingly got more and more into it and uh, eventually did more and more solo repertoire. Uh, and then, well, you have this kind of instrument and like no one's, no one's seen this instrument before. No one really knows it exists in the, the general population. Uh, you know, there's other there's parts of the world that do, but the, the typical person, at least around here, uh, doesn't really know this instrument and isn't very familiar with it. Uh, so uh, I had to find places to play it. Uh, and at one point, uh, I became very inspired by a friend of mine who had a master's degree, and he would take his marimba and go busking at farmer's markets in New York and Berlin and places like that, and he'd have a good time and uh, you know earn some income on the streets, but also uh, also he would get other gigs from it as well. So I started doing that a lot here in Edmonton. Uh, so beyond playing uh, with all sorts of different groups, uh, you know drums as well too. Uh, as percussionists, we play all of these things. Uh, I started where this started a path towards creativity. Really, was when I was just playing solo stuff on the street. And uh, eventually I kind of got lonely playing by myself on the street. So, so I made a band. Uh, so uh, a series of kind of experiments from university and busking and uh, other gigs eventually morphed into this kind of group we see here. Uh, and really this, this group uh, in its current form uh, has existed for about two years once we had a few gigs that really just got it to take off. So, uh, yeah, that's how this weird collection of instruments came about. Uh, if there's a percussion crowd listening, uh, they're very familiar with them, and probably the rest of the world is not. Uh, but I think we're ready to move on to our second set, right? Yes. That's right. There is a second set. Don't go back here. Think, Welcome back, everybody. Uh, uh, the bone records that were band. probably good for all the tunes. I don't know, uh, Rob, do you think we should cut any? Or? We're going to cut a little bit because we're running a little bit over time. Okay. Um, okay, the owners are okay. Let's know when we get there. Okay, you're going to you're gonna tell me which ones you've decided we're cutting? Let's do that. Let's zip on through to the other okay, side. Cool. We're not going to talk as much through this set, so okay, cool. you guys can uh, just sit back, yeah. eat your popcorn, uh, drink your pop, mm -hmm. uh, pop, soda, whatever yeah. your kids call it these days. Cool. Cool. We're going to start. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're going to start with another Disney classic.
another tune that starts with B. That, of course, was from the Jungle Book, The Bare Necessities. This next one, La Bamba. Steve. that is a special tune that I wrote. It's a special tune. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to know what's special and what's not, but you know, I think if Jaden wrote it, it's probably special. However, this one actually has a relatively normal name. Some oh, of my tunes yeah. are really weird. Yeah. Like, Considering the names Jaden usually picks. So here's a couple of Jaden's of some names of are more special names. than others. Uh, we have Small Rotisserie Chicken. We have... Uh, that was one we played earlier. Uh, this one is April in the Rain, which is kind of normal, but some of the other ones are like when wars were long and hair was short. And we'll save the next one for when we play the next one. Yeah, the next we one we'll save. That one. that one is so pretty. Got a new tune coming out called Beg, Borrow, and Steal. Oh, oh heavy metal. Uh, oh, that oh. sounds Yeah, serious. it's wood metal. It's definite wood metal. This yeah, tune's April in the Rain. It's kind of a Latin metal. Wood metal hybrid. Too. Yeah, this is a uh, Latin fire jazz, right? So, yeah. <laughs> All right. And again, Steve starts, Latin starts fire, these tunes. Latin Steve fire starts jazz. Most what was our title? What, what's the show? Latin jazz fire. Latin jazz fire, not fire, fire jazz. Oh, how silly of me. <laughs>
else when that sun comes out. Did we tell them the title? What's that? Did we tell them the title? April and the Rain. April, April and the Rain. Oh, yeah. And Did then also them? April okay. and the Sunshine. Yeah. There's actually a really good video on YouTube of Jaden playing like nine parts all at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to see Jaden multiply himself. So in like a very non-productive way. My solution is I have a band. Jaden's solution is he just records over top of himself. It's kind of fun. I'm my own band. Because Jaden has no friends. Well, uh, no, but I mean, that's besides the point. Uh, we're going to switch gears. We're going to go to TV theme song mood with the most popular TV uh, show in ever. history ever. That, that has ever. ever. The highest rate Period. Ever. Actually. Yeah. Um, if you don't know this tune, then like... Well, well then ask your friends, because they know this tune. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, just ask your friends. Yeah. Sorry, what are we doing? The, the H one, right? It starts with an H. It starts with an H. 
Sometimes like sound and lights and those kind of things, they're easy to mm. overlook. But I mean, lights make a show super cool. There re there's a reason why a lot of people spend thousands of dollars on lights. Yeah. Uh, so our next tune is again from our uh, well world uh, world adaptation. So uh, this is sort of based on a Persian love song. So it kind of largely has the melody and, and a lot of it is the original song, uh, and a lot of it is not the original song. Uh, so this is a well-known folk song from many, many, many years ago, uh, and it's called Ai Yari Jani, uh, or the original is called Ai Yari Jani. We hope you enjoy our version.
right, so I wrote this bit in seven, and it's kind of exciting, and that, that's after the original song. And then I gave, I gave Dale what I wrote, and like our, our version of this, and then he just got really excited and started doing crazy things, like he ignores the bar line and keeps this quarter beat while our eighth notes are shifting, and it's like, whoa, Dale, that's really, it's really cool. Like, you have some cool ideas, Dale. Like, it's good to have friends who come up with ideas. That's really awesome. <laughs> uh, are we doing the next one? Okay, yeah, we're running. Okay, we're going to go to the next one. Okay, we're, we're skipping a couple. One tune, one tune. And we're going on. We're going to go to another one of my quirky name tunes. This one is called A Warm Open-Faced Marshmallow Sandwich. Yeah. I don't uh, know what that is, but... Oh, well, I don't know, but... Uh, you know, send us... Oh, send us pictures of what you think that is. Go create it. Like, microwave that, marshmallow that would be a lot make of fun. a sandwich or something. I, I would really appreciate that. You know, uh, I don't know uh, exactly what it is, but it feels really happy. It feels really joyful. And, you know, we, we were scheduled to play this for a birthday party, and it just feels like, like a very birthday party, joyful kind of song. So, uh... The title we, we, implies that it's sticky, messy, and inconvenient. <laughs> sticky, messy, I'm not going to oh, say anything I disagree. one I think, way or the other. No, no. Let your imaginations run wild. Tittle your imagination oh, with a warm, open-faced marshmallow sandwich. Marshmallows are just happy. Let's do it. Okay.
indulging me, everybody. Please send your pictures to us. Let me know what you think that is. We're doing the next <laughs> one, right? Warm, open faced. Yeah, we are doing the next one, right? That uh, starts with an H. We're good. Yeah. That's yeah. A great okay. Tune. Um. So this is. Yeah, I think it's a great tune. Uh, it's actually not one I wrote, uh, but it's another uh, special one from our. Uh, marimba around the world series it'll be on our album uh, again you know there's this question we can we can celebrate all these places you know in all these parts of the world and uh, you know there's so many beautiful things in so many parts of the world uh, and this is another one which is closer to us um, so uh, I, I found this song uh, played at the Heritage Festival here in Edmonton and it actually took me a very long time to figure out exactly what this song is uh, but I did, I did actually figure out, this song was written uh, by a person from the Northwest Territories. His name is Johnny Landry. So uh, I had a great conversation with Johnny Landry, and Johnny Landry was actually ecstatic that I'm playing this piece. So, or that we, we are playing this piece. So uh, this, this tune is really well known in the Northwest Territories, and uh, it's kind of a celebration type of song. Uh, yeah, so that's probably enough, hey? Let's go with that. Yeah, and we can talk more about it later, uh, but we're going to play right now. So this is called Hina Naho, and this is our version of Hina Naho.
great fade out, everybody. Yeah, I, I think that's a really pretty song. Johnny Landry wrote a beautiful song, and oh, yeah. uh, to my knowledge, I believe, uh, the original, and you should go check out Johnny Landry's music, the original, uh, so he, Johnny plays guitar, uh, so the original is the first um, sort of western style folk song uh, to use uh, Dene words, and it's in the language of uh, South Slavi. Um, <coughs> We do. What's up? We're gonna do Autumn Leaves next, yeah. and that's a uh, jazz standard that uh, a lot of people think is overplayed. So a lot of people do um, try to do a bit of a different take on it. Um, so we're gonna be doing a Latin slash drums heavy take on it. I but it's a Latin jazz fire take. That's right, Latin, Latin jazz, jazz fire, fire, fire with lots, jazz. lots of drums. But um, if you want to yeah. check out the most hilarious version of it ever, I would highly recommend listening to Bobby McFerrin and Chick Corea. Oh, I don't know if any of you guys have checked that out. I, I think I've heard oh that. Oh my yeah. God, that is one of the most hilarious things I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. yeah, you should check it out. Anyway, but uh, this version is not going to be funny. It's just going to be physically active. <laughs> yeah. Physically active. Let's just uh, yeah, this, active. Will, this will feature our uh, drums and more drums section. Yeah, yeah. Drums, drums and percussion. And drums and more drums. Percussion. Percussion. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, How hey. fast do you want to go there, drummers? Oh, it's it's all like you know, it's be your own. Sometimes, a, a good fight, you know, sometimes when we're busking, we feel like th this is like the place where we're putting that yeah, it's fight. Like putting your stand and saying like, you know, we can play on the side of the street, and that doesn't make us any better or worse than anybody else. Yeah. And we're fighting for that. Okay. We're, we're fighting. Well, let's just play music. But, <laughs> this is, but yeah. we, uh, we also play a lot of video game tunes, so this is from that, because we think it's a lot of fun. Shh, you're giving it away! It's okay. <laughs>
that one. Yeah, that's okay. so, um, that's from a closet. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, so. With our last tune of the night, and, uh, this tune, this tune, we won't bother saying the name because everyone's going to recognize it, but this tune is about hope, and I know that hope is something that uh, we could all use, and um, personally, I'm not, a, I'm not one who attends church, but um, as Stephen and I were driving through downtown yesterday, we drove past a church, and it had a sign up in front of it that said, Hope is not cancelled, and I thought that that was pretty cool. So... Um, and so despite everything um, that's going on, the four of us came together, uh, the staff of this venue came together so that we could do this show for you. Um, we were, of course, observing all of the uh, directives from Alberta Health, but uh, we put this show on, and um, I think that that shows that there's a lot of hope because there are good people who are willing to come together and do something like this. If you'd care to donate, starlightsessions.com slash donate, and... Um, Otherwise, we really hope that you enjoyed the show because it's been a real blast for us, for oh, sure. It's been tons of fun. Yeah. Like a it's huge been... quality of life enhancement for us to have something to do <laughs> for all of you. So oh, thanks yeah. for watching. Uh, most most musicians don't have very many performances these days for some reason. Um, okay, here we go. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It means a lot to us. And thank you, Starlight. Woo! Woo! Thanks, Thanks, Starlight! Starlight!